Hi! Due to the way YouTube works, I want to make a quick announcement before this video. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button or leaving a small comment. It really helps. If you feel like helping even more, you can check my Patreon or Ko-fi accounts. All the links are in the description box. Thank you! Greetings! In today's video, I wanted to take a look at the Cutman travel set, since it's fully summer here and that makes it a good time to take out the travel kit. This one is a travel bag sold by Windsor & Newton, containing 23 items designed to bring with you if you want to paint away from your studio. On the paper wrapper, it says this set includes one travel bag, one box with integral palette, 14 half pans, two brushes, one spiral pad, one sketching pencil, one water bottle, one folding bucket, and one putty rubber. The first item we see is the water resistant bag and I think it's quite nice. It's completely black with a zipper and there's a space on the back to store the belt straps if you're not using them. There's also a very convenient handle at the top of the bag. There are two small loops near the zipper ends that could be convenient for some to attach more supplies to the bag or secure it to an easel. The fabric seems decently sturdy. It's not the super thick stuff, but it doesn't feel cheap either. In the bag, the left-hand side has a zippered net pocket in which they put the spiral-bound paper pad. The pad itself is a Cutman spiral pad, 8 inches by 5 inches, with 140 pound or 300 GSM cold press paper. The right-hand side of the bag has a detachable folding tool storage. In this one, they put the water bottle that is not quite like the one on the product picture on the packaging. A flatter bottle would have been nice, but this one seems nicely made too. Also, they warn on the packaging that the items on the picture might not be exactly like the ones that are in the bag. There's a Cutman pamphlet showing the range of colors available. The putty eraser was put in the same space. This one is Windsor & Newton's white putty eraser. I can't say I've tried those before, I've mostly used the gray ones. Though I have to say, the eraser in the set seems to be quite dry and hard, not very malleable. The tool storage space has a nice layout for pencils and brushes, in which they put the sketching pencil. It looks fairly generic and has a 2B lead, so a slightly soft lead. They also put the two brushes here. These are Cutman series 111 brushes in sizes 2 and 6. Behind the brushes is stored the palette with the paints. We'll look more closely at it later. The last item in this insert is the foldable water bucket. This is the first time I see something like this. I'm really curious to see if it keeps water well. Under the insert, the right-hand side of the bag has a net pocket, but this one is not zippered. They also left this one empty. The travel bag comes with a Cutman palette featuring 14 half pans. 
The palette itself is available on its own from the Cutman range. The colors in this set are Lemon Yellow, Cadmium Yellow Hue, Cadmium Red Pale Hue, Cadmium Red Hue, Alizarin Crimson Hue, Purple Lake, Ultramarine, Cerulean Blue Hue, Viridian Hue, Sap Green, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, and Chinese White. The compartments for the pans are a bit weird, as they are not super consistent. Some pans require a tool to remove them, while others have been difficult to press back in. They would keep popping out. I'm not sure I get how this palette is supposed to work. For a travel set, I would much prefer a palette that securely holds the pans. For that matter, the pancakes are also fairly loose. If you want to secure them in the pans, just spray water with a mister to fully wet the pans. It will soften the paint and glue the paint in better. The palette comes with a small rounded compartment that you can clip to the side, and a tray that slides out. Again, as with most things Windsor & Newton, only their pans will fit in this palette. Most other pans are slightly too large to fit. For the swatches, I really wanted to test how dark I could get these colors. I pre-wet each pan and let it soften for a bit before painting. I will show the swatches from this set more closely later, and talk more about why I don't really enjoy the Cutman paints. In terms of color range, this set is nicely balanced. It comes with a split primary of warm and cool primary colors, as well as many nice convenience colors. I took out the Chinese white, as I don't really use this color. For this set, I did two demo paintings. The first one I did in my regular sketchbook, with my favorite tools of the moment. The second one I did with the supplies from the travel bag, to see how they compare. It was fairly decent to use these paints in the first demo, though they are not awesome to mix a truly dark color. If one likes more subdued and light colors, this might very well be the set for them. For the second demo, I had a harder time with the supplies. The rubber eraser was really dry and behaved more like a standard eraser, though it doesn't erase perfectly. The polymer erasers I used tend to do a better job. The sketching pencil was fine, it didn't smudge too much when I painted over it, even if it's a softer lead. The water bottle and bucket were my favorite items of the bag. The bottle is leak-proof, which is always awesome. 
and the bucket worked really well. It held the water, didn't leak, and when I emptied it later, it was pretty much already dry. I can't imagine this item standing up to a lot of use and abuse, but it might be handy to carry around to help in a pinch. It takes no space in a carrying bag. The Cutman brushes are great synthetics, though perhaps a larger size would be truly more helpful here than a size 2 brush. They hold nice points, so the size 6 can do a lot of detail work. I had to hold the size 6 on its side for most of my painting to get wider strokes. I did not choose the most colorful reference to paint, but I still struggled to mix the colors I wanted with this set. They don't get super deep, ever. I ended up really enjoying most of the supplies in this bag, they work pretty well. The paper is not amazing, but serviceable. Only the eraser was lousy and unusable. And, well, the paint. This is truly a matter of personal opinion. I do not like the Cotman paints. They don't pair up well with the way I like to work. If you try to get these to be dark, they become um, blurry. It's hard to define in words. The paint dries well on the paper. It's not sticky or shiny, but it feels like there's a lot of binder in there. I'll try to show in the close-ups what I mean. It's like the color is not sharp. It reminds me of when I try to look through dirty glasses. So that's my impression of this set. In short, great little bag, but I would replace the paper and the palette with some that I enjoy more. What are your plans for summer painting? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, bye bye. Before I leave, here's a reminder that I have accounts on Redbubble and Society6 for fun things like stickers and mugs, and also an Etsy store where I sell prints, originals, and handmade paints. Bye bye!